This video is to help you with number one on CR Helper number 26. It says, be a detective, look for like terms. So what Miss Connor did for this one is she gave you an extra example. She says y plus 5 plus 6y plus 3. It's important that you understand what like terms are. Like terms have the exact same variable part. So for example, y and 6y would be considered like terms. 5 and 3 are your constants, and those would be a set of like terms. Also, if you have 6y plus y, one thing you could do is you could draw it out. I don't know if your teachers have used algebra tiles with you, but for the variable y, we draw it as a rectangle and for a reason. So this would be y plus 6y. This would represent y. That's an ugly y, but that's y. And then I'm going to add to that 6y. Well, what does 6y look like? Well, our y's are the green rectangles if your teachers have used your algebra tiles in class. So if I need 6y, I'm going to draw out six rectangles, three, four, five, six. So this represents, and these should all be the same size, I made them kind of ugly, this represents y plus 6y. Each of these rectangles represent a y. Those are like terms. y plus 6y, those are like terms. How many y's do we now have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven y's. So y plus 6y would be 7y. Your teachers may have also talked to you about the fact that on this y, if you don't see a coefficient, a number in front of that y, we assume it's a 1 because 1 times y will not change the value. And then what your teachers probably have you do after you spend time with your algebra tiles, they probably have you do 1y plus 6y. They probably have you add your coefficients. 1 plus 6 is 7, and you keep the y. And then you have to just do 5 plus 3. Well, on your algebra tiles, you know your um, constants, your numbers without y's attached, look like little squares. So if I have 5, how do I represent those 5? We'd represent them again. These should all be the same size. But our constants are represented by those little squares, and there's a reason why, but I'm not going to go into that now. So 5 would look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they each just represent one unit. And if I'm going to add to that the constant of 3, then you're like, oh, okay, my constants, my numbers without a variable attached, without the y, just are my little squares, 1, 2, 3. Therefore, 5 plus 3, what do I have? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I have a total of 8. So I need an 8 here. So I have 7y, 5 plus 3 is 8. So I have 7y plus 8. Those are not like terms. I can't shove them together. Our y's we know are in the shape of a rectangle if we want to look at our visual. And our constants are these little squares. You can't try to shove those together. So your final answer would be 7y plus 8. You just add your y's together. 1y and 6y would give us our 7y. And then we have our 5 plus our 3 gives us our 8. And how are they attached? They're attached through addition. I hope that helps.